Hey guys, what's up? My name is Calvin Hollywood and in this video tutorial I will show you um, what is possible with the RAW engine in the Camera Raw in Adobe Photoshop and I'm sure you can do the same with Lightroom and uh, it's, it's very amazing what I will show you now in the next uh, couple of minutes. So, let's get started. What you can see here is a shot what I did a couple of years ago and you can see the shot is way too dark. So I did a, um, a bracketing image for HDR and this is the image what is uh, way too dark. And let me show you what was possible in older versions of uh, Adobe Photoshop. So when we check out uh, older versions in uh, Photoshop, so let's uh, get back to the year of 2010. And then you can see when I change the exposure here, um, it was not possible to bring more details here in the, in the grass or you can see here in the building. It looks very horrible. So this is um, the result what was possible in 2010. And let's switch the RAW engine now from 2010 to 2012, the latest version, all right? So I do not change any slider. I just um, change the algorithms, the version, the camera RAW version. And now let's take a look what happened when I switch it to 2012. You can see what is now possible. So when you have a way too dark image, you are able to recover all the details in the shadows and you can see the quality is uh, very good. And you can uh, adjust even more the exposure now to plus five. So it's possible to create it from a low key image. Um, you can see it's, it's absolutely too dark to a high key image. That means uh, you don't have to take care about your pictures. You can shoot how you like, um, of course not. Um, it's always good to have a good photography, but I would show you here in this video what is possible and uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's very amazing, um, but there is more. So this was possible here. Um, I can recover uh, all the details because it's a raw file, right? So let's open this image uh, as a JPEG in Photoshop. So I click here to open it as an object and at the moment it's still a raw file. But when I right click on it and when I um, rasterize this layer, now this file is a JPEG file, all right? And when I try to bring back the details with uh, some adjustments, what I can do in uh, Photoshop, like the midtones here or the shadows, you can see it's not possible to get the same result like uh, before what we did in the, the Camera Raw engine. Of course, because before it was a RAW and now it's a JPEG. But take a look what happened when I duplicate this layer and when I will open this layer uh, in Camera Raw again. So in the latest Photoshop version you can do this by going to Filter and then you can choose here the Camera Raw filter. So what we have now is still a JPEG but we are now back in Camera Raw and uh, I, I can't believe what's going on now and I don't know why it works but it's uh, it's absolutely amazing um, because you can get the same result with the JPEG. Take a look. And this is uh, amazing. You are not able to get this effect in Photoshop. That's not possible. And in Camera Raw we have different algorithms so that means when you have an image I know you are not shooting wrong, you are always shooting with the right exposure, but if you are shooting maybe sometimes by accident with the wrong exposure, try to get um, the or try to fix the shot with Camera Raw. It doesn't matter if you have a JPEG or RAW file, but try to do it in Camera Raw or with Lightroom because you can see the algorithms are different and you can create amazing uh, results. But there is more. Let me show you another shot, what I have here. And this shot is a RAW file, all right? Um, I'm sure you can't see much, uh, but it's a RAW file. You can see here it's, an, it's a Nikon shot with a DH800. It's a NAV file. And let's see what is possible here. Let me open this uh, image first as an object here in Photoshop and let me create a new smart object via a copy that you can see the before after. So this here was the before, 
you can see it's very very dark uh, there are some uh, brighter pixels here i can see it a little bit but not much so let's do the raw conversion here with the raw engine so first the first step what i will do here is i change the exposure here to the right and now we can see whoa we can recover many many details here and the quality i mean the quality is good we can uh, bring a little bit more details in the shadows by bringing this uh, slider to the right side here add a little bit more clarity and uh, let's uh, click here okay so now um we have much more details in the picture but take a look um what happened when I duplicate this layer, I duplicate this layer by pressing Command J, and now I rasterize um, this uh, this layer. Um, I like to rasterize it because I like to apply here my camera raw filter. And when I choose now here the camera raw filter, and by the way, this is a JPEG right now, so let me add here the camera raw filter and let's see what happened because now you can adjust even more the exposure and take a look this is amazing i mean uh you can remember the the first shot i mean it was absolutely dark so bring in a little bit more shadows here add a little bit more clarity and uh, yeah of course we will have some noise here when we zoom in so let's zoom in here a little bit but take a look i mean that's okay this was the before and this is the after image and again before after so what I, I what i like to show you here is that um we have a lot of a uh, lot of uh, informations in the pictures uh, don't try to do everything in adobe photoshop try to do more in camera raw or even if you have a jpeg file try to do more with the camera raw filter you can see the algorithms are different and uh i mean the power of a raw file is amazing but the power of camera raw is even more amazing uh, because it doesn't matter if you have a raw or a JPEG. Well, I would say it, it's better to have a raw file, of course, but you can see, anyway, if you have a JPEG, there are much, much information inside of the picture. And this video is no fake. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's it's the truth. And I'm, I'm, a, I'm surprised a little bit. I figured that out uh, a couple of weeks ago. And uh, I mean, it's amazing before, after. Um, but try to do the best photography because when you have a good photography, the retouching is it's much better, much more fun. Don't think in that way, ah, it doesn't matter how I uh, shoot my images because I can do everything in Photoshop or in RAW. That That's wrong. That's not so good. Try to create a good photography, but when you did by accident a very bad photography, don't worry. Um, you can bring in some details later in the shadows and the highlights. You saw it in this video. All right, guys, I appreciate your support. Thanks for watching this uh, quick tutorial or a quick insight of uh, the power of uh, Camera Raw. I hope you like it and I hope to see you in one of my next uh, videos. Thank you, guys.